general thoughts on the impressive performance? Yeah, I, these guys deserve all the credit. They've listened from day one. They've all did their roles from day one. Um, this was the least amount of drama in any season of basketball. It was the easiest group I've ever coached. They deserve every second of this. Um, I, I do want to say that um, our, our county <coughs> helped prepare us for this. We played against a lot of good teams this year, a lot of good players in our county, a lot of good coaches. I know it's been 25 years, and uh, I was telling I was telling these guys, you know, there's no player that Annapolis doesn't have that Annapolis has that they don't. There's no player that Old Mill has that 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 they don't. So we played against a lot of great players that helped prepare us for this. Um, and then you know, coaching all season against guys like Glenn Burney, Mike Rudd, Josh Pratt. I mean, you know, John Brady. There's a ton of great coaches in our county, and that really helped prepare us for this. Coach, how's it feel? I mean, you set a goal from day one. And here you guys are three, four months later, and you've achieved that goal. How, how satisfying is that? Satisfying is not the word, Bob. Um, I told you from day one, a lot of what we're saying is very cliche. Like, we set our goals to go to Comcast or Xfinity. But when we, we were doing, we we're achieving these goals, it, it's real and it applies to us. And this is not going to sink in for a while. These guys deserve all the credit. The guys in the locker room deserve all the credit. That, I mean, they bought in. and. and it doesn't happen every year, even when teams are good. It doesn't happen every year, but but these guys were just awesome. They they played awesome. Josh, what can you say about you know on, on the biggest stage you you come up big with 16 points? I mean, if we would have said that you know uh, your Tristan and Bruce would be held for a combined 19, you guys still get 80 points. What does that say about your team's depth and just the overall you know all the players that you guys have? Everybody on our team is a good player. I, mean, I love my team. So like if someone is stepping down, and everybody else got to pick up. <laughs> Just talk about not being nervous on this stage. It's been so long for this program, and a lot of times for a first-time team, there's nerves, there's you know, about the atmosphere. But you guys just ran through these two teams like. You know, like it was nothing. I mean, just talk about that. Uh, we've been put on the spotlight all season long. Everybody been giving us their best shot and coming out and playing us their toughest. So we know how to take in that and then come out there with no nothing on our back and just play our game. So, I mean, these guys, everybody take most of the pressure throughout the game. It's not just on my shoulders, his shoulders. On his shoulders, it's on everybody's shoulders. So we take it as a team and just keep moving. Hey, Coach, uh, I know y'all pretty young, too, on the roster. You think y'all could do it again next year? Let's enjoy tonight. <laughs> Let's, enjoy. <laughs> Let's enjoy tonight. I, I, I'll tell you this, it won't be 25 years between another and around the county state team. Bruce, as a senior, to, uh, you, know, you, you came to me this year from Rumble, so to go out, uh, you know, transfer and help your team win a title, and then also cap, cap your career with the state championship. What's, what's that feel like for you? It feels real good. We, we played as a team this whole year, and it just feels good to come in here and get a championship. Jerry and uh, Josh, just talk about just the growth of this team in the last two years. 17 wins. The previous two seasons, you guys, you know, obviously taking a couple of steps up this year. Just talk about the process these last. You keep kept up the pressure. These guys are ready to play. I, I want to say about the seniors and the, the seniors in the locker room as well. Um, these guys come from different paths and different journeys, and it all led them to here. Um, Jerry was a four-year varsity player. Dejan was a three-year varsity player. Um, Bruce obviously a transfer, but there's other guys in the locker room. The, the other seniors. These guys come from different paths, and. This year, they all bought in, and that was the big difference. Obviously, we have talent, but everyone that's here has talent. Um, but these guys all bought in. So the, se the senior class, this is how you go out when, when you buy in. And obviously, we have juniors like Josh, uh, Keith, other guys, Tristan. Um, it, it just makes my job a lot easier. These guys did a great job all season, not just the last three days, all season, since November 15th, four months ago. I'm at a loss for words. I, I, I can't speak highly to them enough. Coach, what did you guys do? Anything preparation-wise for BCC, or just kind of stay with your own stuff? We, st we stuck. We stuck to what we do. Um, my 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 longtime assistant, who wasn't with us this year, he uh, had to retire. Uh, Howard Williams uh, was just in my ear all season when we got here. He's like, Coach, just keep doing what you're doing. And you know, obviously, we do our homework. We 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 scout. We watch film. We look at box scores. We read the articles you guys write. Um, so that, so basically, we were probably over prepared and. You know, if I'm the most nervous one in the group, these guys are telling me, Coach, we got it. Don't worry about it. And 
when you when you hear it from this group, it, it just takes the pressure off you. And you know, when when, when these players are saying, saying, "Coach, we got this," I mean, I'm doing my job, I guess. I'm I'm so proud of these. I can't talk. I'm so proud of these guys. Dejan, there were a lot of distractions early on. The, the incident with the anthem, Tristan getting <clears throat> early foul trouble. It seemed like none of it really bothered you guys at all. Is there any explanation for how? Calm and collected, you guys were on the stage. Nah, not at all. We, you know, we just uh, we just kept the same momentum going. You know, as a team, before we came, we just knew what we had to do to succeed and get the, you know, the W. But that was about it. Uh, Tristan, you'll be one of the seniors next year. What, what's that going to be like? You know, everybody's going to be going after you next year. You know, defending state champions, and you're going to be one of the. Uh, another one of the leaders, I guess. I'm sure you're a leader this year, but you'll be, you'll be a senior leader. What, what's that going to be like for you next year? It's going to be a process. It's going to be a long process, too. We probably won't get right until close to the end of the season, to be honest. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's your head? Oh. I love my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the camera. Pete, after you lost the county championship game, um, we were talking with those sort of the reporters, and you said, hey, you know what? County would have been nice, but the state championships to go. But I was looking at some of the kids' faces, and I was like, oh, they look like they're a little disappointed about not winning it. But you guys definitely got refocused. They, they weren't upset they lost the county championship game. They understand the importance. They were upset they lost a basketball game. I mean, as a coach, I was upset we lost the basketball game. But it didn't make or break our season. This does. And obviously, we put the exclamation point a million times on it. And uh, so, I mean, and ask these guys how many times I said, County championship means nothing, and sure enough, we've we've proven that every day. Every day. I I do want to say, uh, but Mead has been a great place. Um, Mr. Yor, our principal, has been ultra supportive of this program uh, from day one, the last three years, and uh, it's just I'm sure there's a correlation between his support and our success. If you look at our last three years, that's the last three years he's been principal. So when you have that unconditional support up top from the administration. our new athletic director, Kevin Rutledge, 100% support. Uh, Dave Lanham, our old AD, uh, 100% support. But, you know, Meade's been a great place. And obviously, the, the journey these guys had, the relationships that we've built, I mean, I wouldn't trade this moment for anything right now. It sounds like you're retiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long off season. <laughs> Talk about the fan support. I mean, I know Des brought a, a good amount of fans, but you guys definitely have represented any, that, any of you guys. Can that's be been a process that. also. Um, when I first started coaching games, there was no one in the gym except angry parents. <laughs> 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 and, uh, you know, you go and say, pa- stay, say, stay patient, you know. But um, that's been a process, and the fan support tonight was awesome. I, I could see it. They took a lot of pride in this. And uh, just around the school, a lot of students, they listen a little better now. Um, but a lot of students have been very supportive of, of all these guys, and uh, it, it, it's a great feeling. It's a great day for the school. It's a great day for the county, great day for the community. I know, I know this will be enjoyed for a while. Thank you, guys. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.